YouTube <clears throat> it is your girl Jay heaven and welcome to they all love Jay if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you are old to the channel thanks for rocking with sis so if you already read the thumbnail and if you've already read the title of today's video we're gonna be doing a makeup routine by the way this is my first makeup routine so we're just gonna we're just gonna see how this goes but, um, yeah, and I know it also said daily makeup routine. This is not necessarily my daily makeup routine. This is just more of a daily makeup routine for, like, the weekend or summer vacation or winter break or fall break or spring break. Things like that. When I go to school, I don't do my makeup because what's the point? I like my sleep. So, yeah. So, we're just going to get, like, straight into this video. And this video is also a voiceover. So, that'll be my voiceover, too. So, yeah. Okay, so first we're going to start off with, you know, washing your face really well because if you don't, one, that could leave behind acne and two, that can leave behind really chalky makeup and you don't want that. So you want to really try to clean your face as best as possible. So yes, next we're going to move on um, to putting on primer. I suggest you put on primer first so that you don't get, you know, a little bit of acne after removing your makeup. And I typically use Milk of Magnesia to put on my face as the primer. Some of you guys may actually use, you know, things that are classified as primer, but I use Milk of Magnesia because <clears throat> it works better for my skin type. And I have a very, a very, excuse me, very dry face like my face may look oily but my face is extremely dry especially in the forehead area so we're just gonna like kind of let the primer dry and as soon as the primer is dry we're going to go ahead and put on our foundation so yeah i use a liquid foundation by bh cosmetics and i typically do a foundation color that is more of the color around my eyes you know a lot of different colors work for me because I, I just have that skin tone i can do a color that's more around my eyes or a color that's more my forehead and they all you look natural on me so yes we're gonna blend out the foundation as best as possible like you never want to have unblended foundation or it's, your makeup just going to look terrible no matter how good you may slay your eyebrows or your eyeshadow it's just going to really mess your makeup up if you don't blend well so you really want to try your hardest to blend as good as possible so next we're going to do our eyebrows and i typically like to find the arch first before I do my eyebrows just to make it easier and I outline the very beginning like I outline the top of my eyebrows first but before I do anything I always like to spoolie my eyebrows just to make sure that all my hairs are going in the same direction some people may not do that but I do that so now we're gonna archie archie I haven't had my eyebrows arch before this video so my eyebrows may look a little manly-ish because I didn't get them arched. And I also noticed that if you arch both eyebrows they come out better like low-key. Now I'm just filling them in here and as you can see at the very top or beginning of my eyebrows I feathered it up just to give it a more natural look when it comes to the eyebrows next we're gonna take a concealer brush now some people may use concealer some people may use foundation it's all about your preference sometimes I use concealer sometimes I use foundation but it's all up to you and you're just going to kind of outline your eyebrows and blend very well. Like no matter what you use foundation or concealer, you want to make sure you blend the heck out of that. Or it's just going to make your eyebrows look really ugly. And you do not want no ugly eyebrows in 2019. Like I'm um, seriously, you don't want that. 
So you're just going to do that with both eyebrows. Oh yeah, I have to go get a mirror because the camera was not helping me at all at this point with my eyebrows and I hate when I do my eyebrows and I do them wrong. So I just went and got a mirror so that I can see exactly what I was doing. Now my eyebrows are two different shapes and that's okay because everybody's eyebrows are two different shapes unless you really get your eyebrows arched like that. If you get your eyebrows arched like that, then they're probably the same. But for me, my eyebrows are kind of two different shapes and sometimes when I am applying, you know, conceal, I have to go back and redraw my eyebrows because I might have, you know, overdid it sometimes. Here I'm just blending. I really like to make sure that I have a clean, sharp edge when it comes to my eyebrows. Now I'm just feathering out my eyebrows to give them a more natural look with the spoolie again. Some girls don't do this and it makes their eyebrows look really blocky and I just don't like that. Like I like for my eyebrows to look natural when I do my makeup. You may not like that and it's cool. Now on to eyeshadow. First, I'm going to take some eyeshadow primer because, you know, I am a girl of color. So I have to put some type of primer on my eyes to make the color really pop. Next, we're going to go for the Royal Love, which is a mixture of purple, brown, and gray. So first, you're going to take some brown with a brush that is at an angle he's just going to go over the eyelid first just to see how the brown is looking and if you need to add more or less my mom loves the browns and i asked her which one should i do and she said do that one and i was like got it mom Next, I'm going to add tape because I really want a kind of cut crease when it comes to this kind of eye. So yeah, I was kind of having some difficulties with putting the tape on my face because it's not like makeup tape. It's like packing tape that I was using. So sis was having some issues, but sis got it together. And now I'm just going back with the brown and doing my entire eyeball and all the way up to my eyebrows. Now we're going to go in and add some gray to the wing area of my eyeball. And you want to kind of blend the gray into the brown a tad bit. Next, we're going to take a pop of purple just to give it that pop of color. And we're just going to do that simply on the eyelid itself. Y'all see my like really stiff like bun back there or like ponytail like. It's just so stiff back there. That's not cute. Now we're going to remove the tape. And yeah, that was like a little filthy. Take some mascara. 
bling them bit them eye them eyelashes out bing bling bing bling typically i would have put on fake eyelashes but sis did not want to make this video over 15 minutes so yeah now we're going to outline the lips with a purple pen everything that i'm doing now is very optional like you could have just stopped watching the video after me doing my eyebrows <laughs> just saying mm. now we're just gonna go over with some you know purplish lip gloss and i just took a little highlight and you know put a little highlight on my nose and now we're done with this makeup tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe please like please comment please share and thank you for watching this video.